Okay, my name is Steve Scully, and this is the game I created. It's called Tibbets. Uh, we have various uh, themes, baseball, space, aqua, online, there's the safari and, and golf. These are all just themes to, uh, to help uh, capture the kids' attention, but we also have exciting tournaments at exciting venues like Yankee Stadium, the Rays, the Yankees. Uh, other major minor league ballparks around the country, we've got them with NASA, the Kennedy Space Center, and other, spa other museums. And, uh, and so it's a fun way to motivate kids to uh, engage in their math. It's a competitive game, uh, so it does work at well as a tournament, either in the classroom or at our tournaments. And uh, we have Matt Boatman, is here locally. Hello. And his name is up here on the board and he's available to come to your school with this big board or we have a PowerPoint that we're we're upgrading. And Maggie Mixon in the back is at Martinez. Martinez. Just think Maggie Mixon M squared at Martinez M <laughs> <laughs> Maggie Mixon math teacher. <laughs> and since uh, she's already gone, I'll let her tell you a little bit about how she used it in her class before we get started. First of all, thank you so much for being here. Welcome back from lunch. Um, you have no idea how awesome it is just to have you to be able to kind of like a captive audience to see what this is all about. Most of your schools have 15 game boards already, so it's not like you have to go buy something new or anything like that. Now, some people don't know that they're there, but our main goal is to try to get you guys to play the game because that's what we learn the best. Um, last year, I got started with it because I honestly was like, you know, let me see what this is all about. And they said, well, there's a teacher tournament, and I think by nature, some of us math teachers are very competitive. So I was like, okay, let's go to teacher tournament. Um, we are going to have another one, more details later, but um, basically it was like, well, let's see what it's all about, and I really learned online, because you could play against the computer and whatnot, and then when I started getting better and better at it, I was like, well, let me play some of the kids, and some of the kids are already coming in with a lot of skills for tibbets, because they're using it at the elementary schools. It's a huge factor in elementary schools, because they have their elementary annual tournaments and whatnot, and some of the stuff is kind of new to us, but not new to the kids. So especially in sixth grade, if you can snag them early, um, you can start you know, getting them into what we're doing. But it's a, a board game that you can customize to whatever needs you're doing in your classroom, from the low babies to the higher ones, even like the tough, tougher eighth grade um, math skills, mental math skills. With Tibbets, everything is by hand. You cannot use a calculator, it's all mental math, so you're developing some of those um, skills for kids, especially for the NRT section that is all um, mental math. Um, but it's a really fun game. The kids were coming in before school, during lunch, after school even. Mrs. Mixon, can I play? You know, I want to play. Especially for some of those kids that don't always have friends that they, they can sit with at lunch. Hey, I want to learn how to play tibbets. Can I come, you know, by during your lunch time? Sure, come. We'll play. Um, so the kids were really getting involved with it. The way that I first started, though, was as an extra credit kind of thing, kind of like dangling a little carrot, getting extra five points if you show up, play the whole game, get an extra ten points, you know, and things like that. And then last year we were fortunate enough that we acquired more games because we had a McDonald's spirit night. So we ended up with like 30 games at our school and we held a school tournament. So that was really, really neat. For our first tournament, we gave out, you know, like gift cards to Target, like $100 gift cards to the first place winner. And that was all not money that the school had to supply. We were just doing the McDonald's nights, making sure that parents were coming in, you know, buying food and whatnot so that we could earn money for the school and in turn use it. And the PTSA is very, very supportive. I mean, as soon as you put play, and map together, I was like, this is a no-brainer for me. I want the kids to be able to make that link and think of math as fun because, you know, they don't always say that, oh yeah, let's just kind of go together. But um, that's really where I come in. Any questions that you need or you would like to ask, please do. Um, I'm very transparent. I mean, as, as I see it and I do it in the classroom, I will tell you about it. It doesn't take up that much time. Some teachers need them in rotations, like through centers. Sometimes you have an extra five minutes, ten minutes in the beginning of class, at the end of class, those little sponge activities. This comes in in any of those, you know, ways. But we'll get more into it and how to play, so hopefully you get leave here thinking, oh yeah, I know how to play that game and I can speak the same language as some of the kids. The other fun stuff for me was the McDonald's nights. At McDonald's, every single Tuesday, a certain time of the year, all of the McDonald's are available and open for us to come and play kids from other schools. So some of your friends, math teachers from other schools, can bring their kids also. At one point, we had like 22 kids at a particular McDonald's representing three different schools. 
Like Tina came from Liberty, um, Carrie came from Walker, we brought our kids from Martinez, and all three schools competing against each other just in different games, like a little tournament style kind of thing, but just playing and strategizing against each other was so neat to be able to see that. But anyhow, um, please ask anything that you can think of. Uh, we're going to try to have every single person play, even though you know, we're <coughs> sitting on the outside and whatnot. That's my spiel for now. My name um, ideas is Magda Mixon, M-A-G-D-A. It's up here on the board. And my cell phone number is up there, too. I see I have three little kids. Text me whenever. But uh, Steve is, is wonderful, and so is Matt, who is available to you all the time as well. Okay, thank you.